thank you for always showing up for me thank you for always liking and subscribing to my channel i really really appreciate your effort god bless you so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this pattern this pattern is actually a short um basic bodies that cut across from the shoulder to the waistline um the aim of this pattern is to create a peplum top and uh, you know peplum top um is going to have a half cut on the waist so without further repetition let us get started so guys let us get started from the upper side of the paper i mean from the hem i measure one and a half inch downward I measure one and a half inches and i create a square and from the side the side that is facing me i measure the same one and a half inches down why do i do that so that i can see a guide like i created it as a guide to where i'm going to start both the horizontal and the vertical measurements so after doing that you are going to go ahead and mark your horizontal measurement so you measure your back measurement that's it shoulder measurement that is the shoulder measurement and the measurement i'm working with is on the screen i going to see it on the screen so i is 14 inches i added half inch to it and i measure it now i'm going to mark the vertical measurement so my boss point is 10 inches i mark that my under boss is 13 inches i mark that and the waist measurement is 16 inches so i measure that 16 inches don't forget i have added my allowance with the 16 inches because this measurement is actually for a waist measurement so i'm using i'm using this pattern to create a peplum top and the peplum is going to sit on 15 inches so i've added one inch sewing allowance to it that is why i'm measuring 16 inches on the waist so i'm going to square all the vertical lines as you see me doing then i will go up to my arm o size look at the hem of the shoulder i'll go back one one inches because our shoulder is not straight so from there i'm going to measure seven inches down after creating the shoulder slope of one inch so that gave us total of eight inches so i'm going to measure that in eight inches all across the chest so eight inches then i'm going to square it so that eight inches line is going to serve as our chest line that is upper bust line so this is our upper bust line and then i'm going to connect the lines i'm going to connect it from the top and make sure that the 7.5 inches that is my shoulder divided by two plus half an inch so I'm going to measure it all around so that it will be equal. Then I'm going to connect the dot from the shoulder line to the chest line, 7.5 inches. So I'm going to connect that 8 inches downward for the arm O. So now I'm going to insert my neck measurement. The basic neck measurement is 3 inches width by 3 inches height. So I'm going to impute it. As you see me doing now so i'm going to square it out i'm going to square the three by three inches i'm also marking the back neckline which is three inches wide and one inch width um, um one inch height and three inches wide so i'm going to draft it now i'm going to draft both the back i'm going to square it like you see me do I'm going to square it out and I'm going to connect the back neckline as so. Can you see that? So I'm going to square the back neckline, then I'm going to make a curve. I'm going to make a curve with my master um, curve. So this is my pattern master. I'm going to use it to make a curve for the back line. Same for the front neckline. As you see me do. Some people can use free hand. I can actually use free hand, but I think let me show you how to use the curve. So this is it. Then we are going to place our horizontal measurement. So on the chest line, we are working with bust 
33 so 33 divided by 4 is going to give us 8.25 so i'm going to insert that 8.25 make sure that the square is connecting so that you can have accurate body measurements so i've measured that then i'll go ahead to my armhole height i will divide it by two so i'm going to get the midpoint of my armhole which is 3.5 remember we have removed one inch for the shoulder slope we are going to connect that one inch to the neckline because our shoulder is not straight so it is kind of slopey so after connecting that i'm going to look for the midpoint then i'll come in by half an inch that half an inch is for my front arm or curve so i'll connect that point half an inch where i went in to the point where i measure my bust divided by four then to the hem look at how i'm doing it i don't know how else to explain this but look at the point so you are going to make sure it is curving then you connect those three points from that 3.5 midpoint that you went in by half an inch to 8.25 which is your boss divided by four inches so we connect it like so then the back measurement all you have to do is just to connect that same point of 8.25 to that point of midpoint you don't have to go in by anything just connect it straight up and you have the back ammo because our back ammo is not curvy it's just kind of straight it's curvy at the Hammer, then you connect to the top so we are done with the hammer like that i hope you are seeing this then we'll go to our boss point before then let's label our point we have the chair upper chest the on the bust the under bust and then we have the waistline so label it properly so we we'll go to our boss point then we're going to measure don't forget we are measuring from that line that you created that guideline 8.25 the same thing you measure your chest line then you go to the under bust my under bust is 27 so divided by 4 is 6.75 and i measure it the same thing with my waist i have the same measurement so 6.75 so we have all the horizontal measurements placed already so we have it placed already from the guide don't measure from the back of the line just measure from the guide then you connect the point from the chest line you go up then you connect back to the under bust then you connect to the waist as you see me doing it carefully connect it so now we have all the measurements so after doing that, you can cut off the excess at the back. But before then, from that line that we created as a guide, we are going to measure our bust span. My bust span is 7 inches, so divided by 2 is 3.5. So I'm going to mark it all down from the chest line to the bust point to the under bust. And then we'll go to the to waist. So measure the same 3.5 inches then you connect it all through you connect it all through as shown below so you connect it all through connect it from the bust point you are connecting it from the bust point it's not necessary you connect it from the chest line because we are not raising the dart to that place so now we are going to place our dart on the bust point you are going to come down by half an inch so that we don't have a sharp edge then on the under bus you go in and out half an inch half an inch the same thing on the waist half an inch then half an inch so you are going to connect these two to that half inch where you came down from the bus point you are going to connect it all the way connect it on both sides then the other side too you connect it like so yes so after connecting it all the way now we have placed our dart successfully so what we need to do now is just to make sure that the dart is in place then we can add our sewing allowance 
So you need to be careful about the sewing allowance. On the chest line, there is no dart, so we are going to go in, add our sewing allowance of 1.5 inch. Then on the bust point too, there is no dart. You go in, you had 1.5 inch sewing allowance, but on the under bust, there is one inch dart. You had that one inch first. Then you had your sewing allowance because if you didn't have that it's going to shorten your measurements at the end when you are about to shape your bodies but if you had the one inch that allowance and the one and a half you will be free from shortage then on the waistline too you do the same you have one inch that you had it then you had the 1.5 inches sewing allowance and now we have our allowance you connect the dots as shown, you connect it from the bust point to the chest line, back to the under bust and back to the waist line. Now we have all our allowance. For some people, you may not have the allowance on the paper. You can just add it when you are ready to cut on the fabric. But for safety's sake, I prefer it this way. So you go to the shoulder. From shoulder to the waist, now you are going to add your sewing allowance. We have added our sewing allowance to the hammo like that. But the shoulder, we need to add the sewing allowance of half an inch. We need to add it. So now you cut all through. Then I'll show you how to add your half an inch sewing allowance on the, on the shoulder. So you follow the slope carefully. Then you measure half an inch all through. That is for the allowance. Because if you didn't hide it, by the time you join the shoulder from the front to the back, you are going to have a kind of short arm O. And by the time you finish it, you may not be able to raise your arm very well. That's why you hear some people say that I can't shout hallelujah. Because the arm O is choked. So now you connect it like so. Connect it. Now we have the half an inch. So you can now cut off the shoulder so you can cut it off carefully now we have the allowance added already so now we are done with our front pattern so we are going to use this front piece to cut the back pieces so now i placed it on another fabric of the camera i have added two inches to the back I've added two inches all the way down to the back. That serves as my zipper allowance. So I added it and I check out all the points, the chest points, the bust point, the under bust, and my waist so as to connect the dots. Then I can easily just trace out the front pattern on the back piece. Since we are working with a beginner, pattern for basic bodies so i can just trace it out as you see me do you can trace you remember we have not trimmed out the front arm o remember we have not trimmed it out so that we can use this as a pattern to trace out the back pattern so this is what you are going to do so after cutting that you can now after shaping it out you can now cut it through you can cut it through the same thing with the neck, trace it out so that we can have the back neck cut through. Now, after doing all of those things, I'll cut it out and I'll show you. Now, I've cut it out. Look at it. I have the back neckline cut out already. Then, now, since I'm through, I can now cut out the front neckline. So, carefully follow the curve and cut out the front neckline good so after doing this it remains the back that and also the zipper like i told you i hope you are seeing this line it's kind of faint thing so this is the original two inches that we had it but at the back of our clothes to avoid bulgy at the back you know at times you see some zip that they are bulging at the back of your clothes to, to avoid that you go to your waistline and remove half an inch come in by half an inch then connect it back to the chest line 
connect it back to the chest line you know chest line is above our bust line so just connect it slantly so connect it slantly as you see me doing so just connect it slantly by doing this you are carefully eliminating any bulginess so there's going there's not going to be a kind of bulge at the back of your clothes it is the beginner friendly pattern so from that half an inch that you have slanted in then you now create a new zipper allowance a new zipper allowance so you just go in 1.5 1.5 and 1.5 and note the reason why i was able to remove that half an inch is because i had it at 1.5 sewing allowance to it because i knew that i'm going to remove that half an inch the back so i'm going to carefully cut it up because i have returned it back to the sewing allowance the minimum allowance i had it is one inch except for clients that want more than one inch sewing allowance now we are through with the back piece as you can see we are through with it so the simplest way for you to input back that it is very simple you don't have to start inputting your boss pan just Divide it into two the way I'm doing. You fold it, fold your fabric into two, let the tip join together like this, make it straight, and give it a notch. So you can just input your dart. How do you simply input the dart? Measure from the top, measure from the top, your boss point plus half an inch. Your boss point, measure from the top, then plus half an inch downward. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Then you can input half an inch and connect to that place. Like you see me doing. You connect it like so. Connect it half an inch like so. Downward. Now you can input your dart. With this technique, your dart will sit very well at the back. And it will work perfectly well with that bulginess that we have removed along the line so with this we have come to the end of this tutorial thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video please don't forget to like and subscribe bye bye